even when we see someone whom we generally would admire enter that field of political, philosophical disputation, we recognize that sometimes we have to address that person's statements. We have to criticize that person. And in this case, it's incumbent on me to have to do that for someone I generally like. Neil deGrasse Tyson, you're a personal astrophysicist. Who just recently tweeted his support for Donald Trump's idea of a... And in addition to that being problematic, he added a quip that is leaving many fans of free speech very, very troubled. On August 20th, indeed, astrophysicist Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson did tweet his support for Donald Trump's idea of a space force. And he added a quip that, as I mentioned, is leaving some people very worried. Let me give you the whole quote. Quote, I'm okay with a U.S. space force, but what we need most is a truth force, one that defends against all enemies of accurate information, both foreign and domestic. End quote. Okay, well, first, Full disclosure, one of the colleges I considered for my college education was Cornell University, Dr. Tyson's alma mater. I would have been just a few years behind him studying astrophysics. So I'm generally inclined to like the work of Dr. Tyson. But in this case, I do have to offer at least a soft criticism and possibly an out because maybe he didn't really mean exactly what we might be reading from his tweet. So the criticism comes on a number of different levels. First, there's the constitutional level. Constitutionally speaking, there is no enumerated power in the supposed rule book for the US government that allows Congress to spend money on anything regarding science. It simply is not there. Now, if they want to amend the constitution, they can feel free to try to do that, but right now there is no constitutional provision for Space Force or NASA or anything like that. NSF is an exciting place to be a leader, either in the sciences or behind the scenes in business and operations. Are you a senior scientist or a federal leader? You can make a difference at NSF. Next is the field of science that Dr. Tyson doesn't address. That is the economic science. And in economics, we understand that it is literally impossible for a politician to go to a taxpayer and claim that he is going to make a good, whether it's a scientific good or any other kind of good, with that person's money. Why? Because economics dictates that valuation is subjective. Only the person who has the money can decide what is good or bad for him or her. And finally, we do have to address that last part, which again, maybe he did not mean the part about the truth force. You see, within the context of this tweet, since Dr. Tyson was talking about a government-funded space force, I think it's logical to deduce, although I would rather not, that he also meant that the government should fund a truth force, which is a really bad idea. You don't want government defining truth. They tried that in the Soviet Union, and it didn't work so well. They're doing it in China, and it's not a good idea. Even George Orwell included it in 1984 under the title The Ministry of Truth. Get it? Not a good idea. Besides that, we've already seen numerous examples in the West of government getting involved with so-called truth when it defines science, and it's been very problematic. For example, just look at the Climate Gate scandal out of the University of East Anglia, where members of the IPCC, the International Panel on Climate Change, people at the University of East Anglia, were exchanging emails with each other that, some say, showed that they were telling each other to manipulate manipulate data so that it would more closely reflect the idea that there was human-caused climate change. Not good. They were getting government money. How about we try an alternative? How about we let the people who earn the money define what betters their lives? How about we let the people who earn the money spend the money in the areas of science that actually are important to them? That would be great, and there would be no moral imposition on anyone. And once more, we would see what people really valued. Just a little suggestion for you, Dr. Tyson. Again, a soft criticism. Perhaps you didn't mean exactly what people might be reading from your tweet, but we had to offer these thoughts. And feel free, Dr. Tyson, if you're watching, to like and subscribe and to comment. We would love to hear your thoughts. For MRC-TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.